Hello everyone, I'm Avi, Head of Partnerships here at SmartSuite, and today we're going to talk about how you can create and customize forms, and maybe we'll throw in a little extra tip over there at the end about how you can take it to the next level with automations. So let's take a look how. So when you're within SmartSuite, and it doesn't matter what type of view you're in, as long as you're you know within a SmartSuite app right here, uh, right here we're looking at the card view and brand assets template. So I'm looking at all the brand assets that my company has. When you go over to the view types, forms is actually a view type. Now forms is a little different than any other view types. Typically view types are uh, different ways to see the data that's living inside this particular app and solution in SmartSuite. Forms is a little different where it is a view type and that's where you would be able to create a form by the at coming here to the plus sign and creating a form. But as you'll see, forms actually create a, um, in, a, a data input area. So in a form, I'll see over here all the different fields that exist within my app Right, so if I come back over here to like the uh, grid view, um, or I'll see, let me switch for a second to grid view. I'll see all my different fields to display, the files, the images, and so on. And so if I go back to forms and I create a new form, I'm gonna see all those field types and I can decide what field types I wanna to expose to allow whoever's filling out this form to actually fill in those field types. I can leave some in the background but I can come in here and I can add a name, for example, then I can drag and drop and reorder. I can add a type. Um, again, I can drag and drop, reorder it. Um, I can also add new fields right from here. I don't have to go back to like a grid view or a card view. Um, I can fill in a form title, add a form description. I can also change the logo over here. Um, and, and essentially build out a form that I can expose externally, either embed on my website or send as a standalone link to users, and they should be able to fill out the form. Uh, and this can be internally within your company or externally um, on the web and so on. And every time this form is submitted, it creates a new record in this particular app. So in assets, within brand assets, it will create a new record. And so um, just to close this off, you have your settings over here. So you can display a message um, when the form is submitted, like thank you for submitting the form or whatnot. Or instead, you can redirect to a URL. So you can redirect them to a certain page. Maybe the form is part of a workflow. And so once they fill out the form, you want them to go on to the next page. And once you set those settings up, you're going to want to come in here and share the form. You generate a shareable link or an embeddable link. And that's how you'd be able to share the form and so um, if at any point you want to deny access to this form and make sure no one else is going to be able to fill out the form anymore maybe the form went viral and you have to cut it off for whatever reason you can always come here down here and disable the link and that will you know take down the link basically and make it unaccessible to anyone um, but essentially once this form is created uh, as soon as records uh, as soon as someone fills out this form what happens is is it will simply create a new record with that information. Now, the powerful thing that happens with forms is that you can really start using automations, right? So if you go into automations, and we'll just sneak a little peek at it because um, this is a video about forms, but as you can tell over here in my automation actions, I can say when a form is submitted, right? And then I get to choose which form I'm talking about. Let's say I set up multiple forms. I can set up separate automations for different forms. And I can add certain conditions, like only if XYZ selector has been selected or certain conditions are met, like certain field types were met by whoever filled out the form, add action. And you can do anything from sending a text message to a Slack message to an email, Google Calendar. And so, I mean, there's endless ways where this can be used uh, from recruiting and onboarding and sales inquiries and uh, so much more. Um, that's really uh, the power of SmartSuite forms and using them natively within SmartSuite as, as opposed to going to some external provider because then you can have all these built-in automations that can act right after the form. Maybe you want to assign the form, the, the record that was created from the form to one of your team members to be the reviewer or to be the, uh, the approver or whatever that is. So hope uh, 
this episode of Smart Tips uh, gave you some clarity a little bit about forms and potentially how you can extend forms to be even more advanced. Uh, let us know uh, what other topics you'd like us to cover in the upcoming Smart Tips. And please go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss a single future Smart Tips video. Thank you.